Hey guys, welcome back to Living Low Vision. Hi, it's Fernanda. I look like a flower goddess. I got my brown dress that I wore the other day. And I made this garland today. I should have vlogged when I made this garland. It's actually made out of real flowers. All I know, one of them is baby breaths and the other ones are just purple and white. I think there's some flowers. I'm not really good with flowers. <laughs> If anyone knows what they are, put them, put it in the comments. So today I went to Feel the Beat Music Festival. It was a festival that was catered for people with disabilities. And this was from the age of 18 to 20 to 30. <laughs> um, obviously, I just fit the 30. So what I did was got my face painted. So you guys may see. I have a beautiful butterfly. With a lot of little gems. I don't really want to get them off. But I have to. Because I have to go to bed soon. This was a Guillermo free event. <laughs> Guillermo was home. Don't worry. George was taking care of him. Um, <laughs> or trying to. So yeah. I do like these little gems. That they put in my. It actually matches my eye makeup. So the face paint is like. You know what. I'm going to try and match your eye makeup. And I think she did a good job. Let me just try and go in. Whoa, I'm just going to close my eyes so you guys can see or side of person can describe what's going on. So what I did, I used like a light pink and purple. Then I put a really like a, yeah, a light, I will say pastel pink. My inner eyes in the middle, I put like a, it was a mix of pink and purple. And in the end, I put brown to match my dress. I did get henna done, fortunately rubbed off. Um, I will put up a photo right now. And I, the lady's like, what kind of henna do you want? I go, I want butterflies. I don't know, I feel like a butterfly. I'm like the Taylor Swift butterfly. <laughs> Maybe I am. <clears throat> so this event, like I said, they had henna. They had um, airbrush tattoos. So I've got... Can, I don't know if I can show you guys. I'll put in the inner of my arm. It's a black butterfly. Almost like it's not gonna hurt. I go, I've got tattoos on my back. I know how <laughs> I know how they hurt. Real tattoos. Um, but yeah, so first I was in the line for henna, but that was too long. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go to face painting. So me strolling with my cane back and forth, back and forth, moving side to side. Stood at face painting. I didn't realize that because <laughs> it was dark and I'm not blind. Um, didn't realize that there was a vacant spot. So the lady called me over. She knew the etiquette. She grabbed me by the arm and told me where to go. She grabbed me by the elbow, so I really like that. And yeah, she did this beautiful work. So I went back to the henna, the store queue. So I said, you know what? I'll get an airbrush tattoo. Got that done. Then I got the henna and listened to some good music. You know, there was a couple bands <laughs> which I don't remember the names. Um. And the thing that I really stood out to me was that they had an Oslo interpreter on stage. So she was um, interpreting the lyrics of the song, which I found out amazing. I don't know if there was anyone who was in a deaf community yet, but I really did like her. So <laughs> I filmed a bit of her while Justice Crew or the other bands were playing. Um, there was like when I was getting my face painted, I was singing Teenage Dirtbag. So I had that song on. Um, they had other songs on, like, remind me from high school, Mr. Brightside. <gasps> the killers are not Mr. Brightside, so I got him to interpret it. And, you know, um, yeah, sorry, I really like the event. And unfortunately, next year I can't go because I'm turning 31. <laughs> I can't go. But anyway, I was by myself. I enjoyed my me time. Spoke to very few people. A lot of people complimented of my eyeshadows and my dress. I was like, where did you get this dress? And I was honest, and I'm like, op shop, thrift store, whatever you call it. I shop there. Um, yeah, so right now I'm going to put some videos and you guys will hopefully enjoy. Um, yeah, even though was, you know how there's other videos that people have put up, but even though they're in a public area, public setting, they feel alone. I felt like that, but I really didn't care, honestly. I was singing to the music, dancing on the chairs by myself. 
I really didn't care. If a guy would have asked me to dance, I would have liked that. But anyway, <laughs> there was a, quite a few guys there that I could see. <laughs> I saw them in the lights. But yeah, I really didn't like the event. I strongly suggest Campbell Town Council do this at least two times a year. It wasn't packed, but I did like it. Pretty sure a lot of people liked it, especially when the Justice Crew came out. Oh my god. I was fangirling over them, but <laughs> sadly I couldn't meet them. Why? Because I had to buy merch. Unfortunately, I did not have cash. So, I could not meet them. Oh well, I'm not going to cry over it. But, yeah. <laughs> When I got to feel the beats, I got to see a band on stage, I don't really know their name. Uh, what you see in front of me is tattoos and canal. But the interesting thing about this setup was there was an Auslan, an Australian Sign Language interpreter, and she was signing the lyrics of the song. He's dancing or making a kind of yeah. dancing to the Holding Out for a Hero by Bonnie Tyler. So she was acting as Lois Lane and it was beautiful what I could see because I had my blinds but there was a lot of lighting. So like now you just see her trying to readjust the keys and now you'll see her Superman. Extraordinary man in a wheelchair doing the keys while he's still in his wheelchair. I found it amazing. This guy was amazing. Doing all his um, flips and turns. That's all I can say. Truly amazing. And right now you're gonna see me singing. this video they're just singing dancing there are four five men four or five I can't really see from now um just singing um I think we can guess it out it's a really good song but anyway I don't want to get in trouble by YouTube but let's just saying goodbye to people oh no we're just jumping up and down um <laughs> Me trying to jump and film with the cane, it was not a good mix. But I did have fun, I enjoyed my new time. And I was eagerly waiting to go home as quick as I can. This was my four hours away from the 